Topic 9, Lesson 3, Estimating Quotients for Greater Dividends. Well, so far you know how to use place value to multiply multiples of 10 and 100. In this lesson, you will learn how to estimate the answers to division problems by using multiples of 10 and 100. Our standard is to find a whole number of quotients and remainders with up to four-digit dividends and one-digit divisors using strategies based on place value the properties of operations, and or the relationship between multiplication and division. We're really going to look at this one quite a bit. And illustrate and explain the calculation by using equations, rectangular arrays, and or area models. Mathematical practices. We're going to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. We're going to reason abstractly and quantitatively. We're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others and look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. Our focus is how do you estimate quotients using place value? So again, estimate. So here's our problem. Jimmy has 3,000 tickets for rides at the school carnival. Jimmy needs to pack small plastic bags with eight tickets in each bag. About how many bags will he need? So we're going to start off with 3,000 tickets here. So we got 3,000 tickets, and we want to get them into eight tickets in each bag. And again, the key word here is about, which lets us know just what our focus is. We're going to estimate. So again, about, we're going to estimate. So this is what we're doing here. It's really 3,000 divided by eight. But do they want us to know, find out the actual number in each bag? No. Again, they want us to know about. So what can we do? What could we do to help us find a way to solve this without actually solving the whole problem itself? Well, we want to know what are some things that if we multiplied by 8 will get us a number that's actually close to 30. So we're going to look at just 30. So if 8 times something is close to 30. Well, we know that 8 times 4 is 32. And that's pretty close. And so we can continue that. 8 times 40 would get us 320. And then 8 times 400 would actually get us 3,200, which is close to that. It's about. So we're close. So again, back to our original problem, 3,000 divided by 8. We don't need to know the exact answer. So instead of multiplying, we can divide. 32 divided by 8 gives us 4. 320 divided by 8 gets us 40. And then finally, 3,200 divided by 8 gives us 400. So our answer to this, 3,000 divided by 8, is about 400. So let's try this one. Let's say you have 3,600 tickets and you want to put seven tickets in each bag. So pause the video and see if you can find the estimate to this problem. Good luck. All right, how'd you do? So we go back to, again, we have 3,600 tickets. Sorry, and we want to put seven tickets in each bag. So we're going to be looking at this number right here, 36. 7 times what gets us close to 36? Well, we do know that 7 times 5 gets us 35. So let's continue it. 7 times 50 gets us 350. 7 times 500 would then get us 3,500, which is close to that. So in other words, 3,000 divided by 7 is about 500. How'd you do? Hopefully good. All right, now try some on your own. Good luck. 